Hello and welcome to another episode of Blackboard Wednesday. I'm your host Jonah. This is where we cover music theory, ideas, concepts, and other music tutorials. Uh, in today's episode, we will be covering uh, basic time signatures like 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, and 2-4, and also how to count them with quarter notes. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, um, we've all probably seen notes and how they look. Uh, there's different types of notes. Um, some have stems, some are circles, some are filled in, some are hollow, some have little flags on the top. Um, but right now, we're just going to focus on a very basic uh, note value, which is the quarter note. And the quarter note is drawn by a full circle and a stem coming out of it. Now, I drew the stems going down here, but they could go either up or down depending on where they are on the grand staff. So say if you have like a high C, the stem's most likely going to go down. And if you're kind of lower on the staff, the stem's going to go up. Uh, it's just easier to write. Um, it doesn't have, make a difference if the stem's either down or up. Um, like I said, it just makes it easier to see and write um, when you're writing music. Um, so with the quarter note in mind, um, the most basic value is going to be 4-4, four, four, also known as common time. You might see it represented with a C. Um, well, today I'm just going to focus on the top number of the time signature. Um, on a, in a future episode, I'm going to explain what the bottom number is. But for now, we'll just keep it at 4. And for now, a quarter note will equal 1 beat. So what the top number at, in a time signature represents is how many beats there are in a measure. And in a, a measure is the space between the two bar lines. Or So in a musical measure, it's kind of like a, a phrase. Not a phrase, but um, kind of a space in the music. So it's in between bar lines. So if we're counting 4-4, four, four, it's going to have four beats per measure. So it's going to have, if a quarter note equals one beat, it's going to have four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if we change that top number to say 3-4, now, the, each measure is only going to have three beats. And in this case, one beat equals one quarter note. We're only going to have three quarter notes per measure. So we would count this in threes instead of fours. So to start, we'd go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it kind of has more of a waltz feel, you know. Uh, there's a little bit more emphasis always on the downbeat which is uh, the first beat of each measure. So if we're counting in threes, it's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's just a little bit more emphasis on the downbeat. Um, and then we come to the last time signature for today, and this is two, four. So what this one means is that there's two beats per measure, and if one beat equals a quarter note, then... It, there's going to be two quarter notes per measure, and we would count this in twos. So we'd go one, two, one, two, one, two. And um, these are the most basic values, um, four, four, three, four, two, fours. But you can see things like seven, four, twelve, four, six, four. And you would just have to count the extra beats. So say if it was in 6-4, you'd have to count 6 beats per measure. You'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's what the top number represents. Um, there are other types of notes. There's half notes, whole notes, uh, dotted half notes, eighth notes, thirteen or 16th notes, 32nd notes. Um, Eventually, I'll explain that in a future lesson. I just wanted to keep it super basic just to explain the top number of on the time signatures. Um, and like I said, I'm, in a future episode, I'll explain the other note values and also what the bottom number represents. But for now, we'll just keep it at four for the bottom number and then just worry about the top number changing, which just represents how many beats are um, in a measure. So two, there's going to be two beats, three is going to have three beats, and four is going to have four beats. So 
yeah, that concludes today's episode. If you like my content um, or if you have suggestions for future content, please feel free to comment below. Uh, you could also subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in uh, future episodes.